In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Dr. Squatch's Wood Barrel Bourbon Bar. So this is another limited edition uh, Dr. Squatch bar of soap. He's They've had a couple, uh, the Area 51, they did a Peppermint one, they did a, a Mars one. I know that this went, so if you have a monthly subscription, I think you got early access to this bar and then they opened it up to everybody. If they're going to, I would do the subscription if every month they were going to give a special limited edition bar. Uh, I go through so many soaps that I, I don't want their normal uh, soaps. I, I kind of want to try something new and I really like the limited edition ones. We'll get into the ingredients because I think the ingredients are always interesting because they, whatever the theme is, they kind of fit to that. Like the Area 51 had sand, uh, the Mars had like some cosmic seeds. Like there, there's some really cool things that they're doing and I really like that. As being a nerd, it's like theme it. Yes, please. So this is wood barrel bourbon. It smells like an 80s cologne in a good way, in a good way. It, it, to me, it smells like an 80s, not like a Dracar or anything like that. It's not like a, a musky, like nasty type of smell, even though I kind of like Dracar or whatever. But uh, this is more of like that 80s gentleman smell. Like the, you're, if you're going to like, if you're wearing uh, like someone on Wall Street or something where it would a suit would wear something like this in the 80s. It was all, it smells awesome. It's, it's, believe it or not, probably one of my favorite scents from Dr. Squatch. I think this should be in their normal lineup. There's nothing like it that they have. There's no cologne type smelling bar of soap that they have. If you look through across their, their, uh, I mean, some people might say bay rum, maybe, maybe, but I, I would say that this is their best smelling bar of soap other than their pine tar, which I love. Uh, let's go into the ingredients. So they're normal saponified oils, shea butter, natural fragrance, uh, Jimmy red cornmeal, brewer's yeast, sand, annatto powder, annatto powder, uh, I'm, I always pronounce everything wrong. I know, I know. It's my New York accent or a Brooklyn accent, really, more. <laughs> Kalon clay, sea salt, iron oxide. So really great ingredients. They they're always they always feel great on the skin. I, what I really liked about this one was the exfoliation of it. It had it has like uh it, it's really nice. It's like that perfect and you can see the bar. You can see the the sand in there. Uh, and the other stuff, I think there was, what did I say? There was a seed in there or something. Cornmeal. It's probably the Jimmy Red cornmeal. Really, really nice. You can see that exfoliation. It feels great. It's it's a little bit more exfoliating than I'd say uh, their pine tar, but just a very little bit more. I just like the way it felt. It's like a scratchy exfoliation. So it smells, It's they describe, which I really like, they describe on the side their scent, which is uh, a bourbon and oak. And like I said, it, to me, it smells like cologne. I, I loved it. I hope, and I've said this in their other videos that I do these limited editions, I hope that they keep making these. I hope that they keep every month coming out with a new uh, limited edition one. And if they said, if you did the monthly subscription where you get a bar of soap a month or two, whatever you want, and you got one that was a limited edition every month, I think people would jump all over it. I think that would get people, to, more people to, to, to jump on something like this because you're going to get something that maybe you can't get your hands on. I mean, I get text messages from them. I think you sign up and they'll tell me when things like this come out, but I couldn't get this right away. I couldn't, I had to wait uh, a week before it was out, which I wish I would have got it um, sooner because I could do the review sooner, but great bar of soap, really like the scent. I highly, if you can get your hands on this one and you like that like cologne type scent, get it. I hope they make this in other things like the, the deodorant, which I use. And I probably need to do a review on that because it's interesting. I, I, I really like it. And, uh, but there's some things that, that are, that I might not recommend to certain people. So I'll, I'll get into that in another video, but great, great bar. So loved it. I, I, if you've used this, please let me know. Uh, I'm curious what you think of it compared to the other scents. I don't think there's anything like it from, from, uh, Dr. Squatch other than Maybe a bay, maybe uh, I can't even say it's not bay rum, but I don't think they have a cologne type scent. Maybe they have, I don't know, I don't think they do. Uh, let me know, maybe I'm missing something, but I thought this was probably one of their bad, best scents I've ever smelt. I want it in beard oil. I like their beard oil. Check out my beard oil uh video on uh that on their pine one. 
I really like it, and especially because it has all natural essential oils. So if you're looking for something without a set, without fragrance, they have a great, great thick uh, beard oil. I have the pine one. It's like Christmas morning. I love it. So check out other products from Dr. Squatch. Their information will be in my description. Always appreciate you guys watching and, and leaving comments. I got I to gotta admit that the comments uh, have been so, so nice. And uh, it always keeps me motivated to keep doing videos. Because every once in a while, I'm like, ah, do I really, do people really want to watch soap videos? Like, uh, do they really want to keep watching reviews like, like this? And then, you know, you get that one person that leaves a really kind message. And it, it, means, it means a lot. And, it, and it's really nice. Because I'm, I'm mainly doing these. One, I want to get better at speaking at camera, but the other reason is I, I really like helping small businesses. So Dr. Squatch, I mean, I don't really consider them a small business, but the other people, generally the 90% of videos that I do are, are, are small businesses. And I just love highlighting these companies and giving them a spotlight where I think that they don't really have that chance to, to, to get uh, people doing reviews on a, on a small soap company. It, it really doesn't happen. I mean, I don't, I think I might be one of maybe the only one that particularly does just soap. There are people that will do other reviews and then they'll add soap in, but I think I'm the only one that does that. And um, I, I, li I love, love hearing from those companies and saying thank you and they appreciate it and, and, uh, and helping them. It, it, it means a lot. And then when I see a kind comment and that they're gonna check out the company, it's like, I, thank you. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of the day, and if you like this video, hit the like button, and if you like the content that I'm putting out, which is basically soap-related, hit the subscription button. Thank you so much for watching.